and welcome. I am Faisal from Phoenix Academy. In this, in this lecture, I'm going to walk you through the use of a tool called Nmap. Nmap is a tool that is meant, that is used for network mapping and house discovery. The full meaning of Nmap is network mapper. After getting entry into a network, be it a wide network or a wireless network, a wired network and so in whereby we just need a cable from the network which we plug into our laptop a computer to gain entry into the network or is it a wi-fi network where we have to crack the keys and get the keys and then use the key makers of the keys to get entry into the network now after getting entry into the network we need details about the machines that are connected on that particular network with their ip addresses and their mac addresses so that we can make use of that to exploit those machines now, this tool called MMAF is one of such tools that we could make use of to perform a host discovery. So, the first thing we do, since our computer is connected to that particular network, we need to know which IP address has been assigned to our computer. And through that, we could also know the network identity, the network, the network mask of that particular network. And how do you go about it? We simply issue this command, ifconfig. So I'm going to my machine, I type the command ifconfig, I press enter. Now I can see the address, IP address that is being assigned to my machine is 10.0.2.15, meaning that the network mask of this particular network is 10.0.2.1. So in making use of that, I can simply issue the command nmaf 10.0.2.15. Two, one, and then slash 24 using the CIDR notation. I press enter and then this MMAF will go and gather information about all the machines that are connected to this network. But to save time, I don't want to do that. I'm going since I know we are going to make use of one machine, we are Windows machine to demonstrate the use of this uh, network to save time I will just issue the IP address of the Windows machine and see how we could use a map to gather information about that particular Windows machine so I'm not going to run this command I use clear command to clear my screen so I'll go to my Windows machine and I will know the IP address of this Windows machine now I'll go to the command prompt And I will enter the command IP config. I press enter. Now I can see the IP address of this Windows machine 10.0.2.14. Now I will come back to my Linux machine, machine, which is the attacking machine, and then I will issue the mmaf command to perform a host uh, gather information on the Windows machine. Now the first mmaf command that I'm going to enter is mmaf. Then the IP address of the Windows machine 10.0.2.14. Now, what this command will do, we perform what you call version scanning. So it will run through the this Windows machine, gather all the fault that are open, what service is running on that port, and what is the version of the services that are running on that port. So I will simply press enter, and your mouth will go and gather all information about the ports that are open on the Windows machine plus the service that is running on that particular fault and the service version that is running on that particular fault okay mmaf has finished running and it has returned to us the results we can see the number of faults that are often plus the service version of that particular fault we can see fault one uh, uh, port with the number 135 running TCP is a TCP port it is open and the service is running and it's running Microsoft Windows RPC remote uh, procedure call port 139 and you can see all the ports that are open on this particular machine and then the next if you want to exploit this particular uh, machine we can go to the internet and then I'll 
go to a site such as Explore DB and then look through whether any of these uh, service might have a vulnerability and then we look for an exploit and then try to exploit this vulnerability and get entry into this Windows machine. So this is a bash service version scanning. It has run through and it has gathered the version of the service that is running on all the ports that are often on our target machine. Okay, so I'll clear my screen and then run the next mmav command. Now the next mmav command I'm going to run is the OS scan command. Alright, so this command will go through, will go to our target and it will gather, try to identify the operating system that our machine is running. And the minus P0 flag means nothing. So it will not ping the machine. It will simply go to it and try to gather the operating system, identify the operating system that our target machine is running on. Okay, so I can either put dash p0 or i can put dash n meaning no ping then next i enter the ip address of the target machine 10 0 to 14 and then i press enter a map has finished running and it has returned the result for us so we can see it still gave us the fort and the state the state of the fort and the service the those ports that are running and it has tried to identify the operating system OSCP command OSCP common platform in enumeration and then the OS details is trying to identify it as Microsoft Windows 7 service pack 0 to service pack 1 or Windows Server 2008 service pack 1 Windows Server 2008 R2 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 of the one now the reason why it is it try to identify it as Windows uh, Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server R2 because they have what you call a common code base. A common code base. So that is why it tried to identify it as either Windows 7 2008 8.1. So because due to the, what we call the common code base, they have the same common code base. So it will try to identify it as either of these machines. So we know that our target is either Windows 7, Windows Server 2008. Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 1 or Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 Update 1. Okay. Now the next scan we are going to perform, we are going to run what you call a scene scan. Okay. So I'm going to clear my screen and then issue the command nmap. Then I enter the IP address of the machine 10 0 to 14. Then I press enter. Now MMAF has finished scanning, running our scan, our scene scan, and it has returned the address for us. Now scene scan is the most popular type of scan, and it is a default scan in MMAF. So whenever we just write MMAF and then issue the IP address, we are running an MMAF scan an mmap scan need a root account we can run an mmap scan in a non-root account so the account we are running our mmap scene scan has to be a root account and scene scan runs very fast also there is less probability of being blocked also it differentiates between open close and filtered fault so when we run mmap scan it will help us identify whether a port is open, closed, or filtered. So it gives us the state of the port of the ports as either open, closed, or filtered using a scene scan. Okay. So we can see the ports that are open, and we can see the 
the service this those ports are running on okay now next we run a tcp connect scan now unlike our other scan a scene scan a scene scan it utilizes the tcp three-way handshake so it just send the same handshake part of the handshake so after sending the scene it will now send a rst flag to terminate the connection but tcp connect scan will complete the full three-way handshake with the target okay so this is how we run an mf full connect scan also called tcp scan then the ip address 10 0 to 14 then we press enter okay so mf has finished performing our tcp full connect scan it has given us the result so we can see the ports that are open and the service those port is running on and the service those port is running okay now the next type of MMAP MMAP scan we are going to run we are going to specify the fourth range because we can actually specify uh, which port do we want to scan on the target machine so we are going to make use of a uh, MMAP flag to specify the number of ports we want to scan on the target machine. Okay, so let me clear the screen. So I'll just type mmap, then the p plug, and then I'm going to specify the number of ports. So I want to scan through the from port the first port to 500. So just 500 ports. Then I issue the IP address of the machine 100214. Then I press enter. MMAP has finished running and it has given us the result of the uh, of, of the scan that we run. So we can see only the ports that are in the range 1 to 500. Those are only those ports we can see from the result. We can see port 1, uh, port 135, port 139, and port 415, 445 rather. Okay, so using this um dash p plug we can actually specify which port we want to run we want to run our mmap scan on all right now another thing we can do with mmap we can actually specify the what the timing plug how fast do we want the mmap scan to run so uh, using the timing flag from t0 to t5 we can actually specify now t0 is a very slow scan and t5 is aggressive scan so uh, when we run a uh, t5 we run the risk of being uh identified by a firewall so actually uh the most optimal scan is t4 which is a trade-off between a it's it's not uh, it is not slow and it's not aggressive so we are going to make use of t4 flag to scan our target machine so we space so we well, we run the flag we run the command mf dash t t4 then the ip address uh the ip address 10 0 to 14 then we press enter so a map has finished running and it has returned to us the ip addresses we can see the ports that are open on our target machine using this uh, timing flag of T4. So we we'll clear the screen and run our next MMAP scan. Now another type of uh, MMAP scan we can run is that we can actually uh, specify to MMAP uh, a file containing the list of IP addresses that we want MMAP to scan for us. So we can create a, 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 a file containing the list of IP addresses that we want a map to scan for us. So to go about it, I'm going to open my lip pad. We use the, this uh, lip pad, then this ampersand will make sure that my I can still make use of my terminal while the um, uh, while the lip pad application is open. So I'll just press enter. 
okay so my leaf word then i can come and uh, write all the ip addresses that i want a map to scan for me but in this uh, situation i just want to uh, scan the 10.0.2.14 ip address so i just enter 10 0 2.14 then i'll save my file save as say i want to save it uh, under the root directory i'll save it as list and i'll click on save i'll close the leapad application now i'm done i'll clear my screen now all i have to do i will just type a map then okay dash l then name of my file containing the ip address come for me which is list and i make sure it is the same directory because it is in i save it in the root directory so i'm in the root current in the i am currently in the root directory so i will just press a map has finished scanning the ip address uh, for me which i issue to mmap via the a file containing the list of the ip address and this is uh, just one ip address and we can see a map has finished running the scan and it has given all the result of the scan now clear my screen now another type of mmap scan is using the a plug mmap dash e now this a flag will perform os and service version detection it will also perform script scanning run all the mmap script i also perform a trace route scanning so i'm um, issue this minus a flag and then also let me issue the timing plug i want it to run with t4 timing flag and then i issue the ip address 10 0 to 14 and then i press enter all right mmap has finished running and it has returned the result for us and we can see the result it so it has performed a os operation system uh service version and service version detection it has performed script scanning and it has also performed a trace route okay so we can see the result we can see the trace route result one hop and the address you can see the ip address of our target machine now the next type of scan the final type of scan that we want to see today is the ping scan so ping scan is just like uh issuing out a ping to know whether our target is off or down so it's just equivalent to issuing out a ping command okay and this is how we go about it we just type mmap sp dash sp and then we enter the ip address of the target 10 0 2 14 and then we press enter a map has finished running and it has returned to us the result and we can see that our target is up okay so this marks the end of this lecture thank you for listening please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question you can post it under the comment section thank you